My mom told me to use my money wisely, so I bought a pug on a rug. Hey guys, so different background today. As you guys might know, I'm in Stockholm visiting my friend Sophia and since I've done quite a bit of shopping while I'm in here, I thought I would do a haul for you guys the last day I'm here, so I'm actually leaving today. So I'm all by myself in Sophia's room, so I just thought I would use her room as a little filming room. It looks really nice, right? Let's just uh, jump right into the haul because I have quite a few things to show you and I talk a lot so let's get started. I'm going to start with Urban Outfitters because I think that's where I got the most stuff and this bag is like totally ripped. So. The first thing I got were these pair of high-waisted shorts. They're from the brand B BDG and they're like a kind of a light wash, just normal, super high-waisted shorts and these are kind of weird okay i don't know if anyone else has this problem these are tight at my thighs but really loose at my waist and it kind of annoys me but i'm going to try to make them work because they were really expensive but i don't own a pair of like normal high-waisted shorts so i really wanted a pair so i got these then i got like two really random things i got two maps and this is like like a plain normal map and i'm thinking about like putting it on a cork board and possibly spraying like the uh, frame like a bright color or something and then putting like some tags where I've been I really want to do that a and then I got this scratch map which is like gold and you scratch wherever you've been it's really cool and this was kind of expensive but that one was pretty cheap this was like 300 kroners and but it's really worth it because it's something kind of unique and you can like hang it up in your wall and scratch wherever you've been in the world and I thought that was really cool and as you guys know I love traveling and wanderlust and all of that stuff so I really needed this map. The next thing is super random and I don't really know if I needed it, I just really wanted it. It's this like rug, pug on a rug and I thought it was really cute and it was on sale and I thought I could put it in my room because the colors like match and it's really random but I really liked it so I got a rug yeah hashtag grandma e again <laughs> next I got this mug which says I want a fucking unicorn because I thought it was really awesome and I do want a unicorn so I got this mug it has rainbows and unicorns so I mean what can be more perfect than that the last thing I got is pretty cool. It's this thing called Wreck This Journal. I don't know if you guys heard about it, but it's awesome. I've like read through it. It's so funny. It's like, fill this page with circles. Let me see. Sew this page. Glue random items here. Things you find on your couch on the street. Collect your pocket lint and glue it here. Like all these like weird things. Close the journal, write, scribble something on the edges. I can't take it. I just let it ring. Nobody's here. Stop ringing. Stop. It stopped. Rub this page on a dirty car. Drum on this page with pencils. There's like all these weird things you can do when you're bored. It is awesome. So I got that. And now I can throw my really ripped bag and use it as a hat. Nice, very nice. The next place I'll show you is Brandy Melville. I got a couple of things and I also got a birthday present for my cousin there. So I can show you some of the things. I got these two necklaces. Um, this one is kind of like a ring type thing. It has like a ring and like a crisscross on the chain. And this one is like a little crystal thing. I'll have like close up so you guys can see. But I really thought these were like cute and dainty and I thought they were really nice. So I got those. I also got a third necklace to layer with which is like three little triangles and it's super dainty and cute. And I thought it would look really nice like above the little like ring uh, necklace. So I got that as well. I got two clothing items and the first thing is this dress slash top and it is like literally like the board most boring shape ever but it looks so cute it's like just like a plain like dress like right straight down dress and has these little flowers on and just note this that if you're like taller than like five foot or <laughs> like i don't know 160 something 
this will not be a dress on you this is like a top like a longer top on me especially if I wear with a belt which looks really cute by the way um, I took an outfit picture in Urban Outfitters I might it might be here if I figured out how to do it on Final Cut Pro I might not <laughs> Um, but it looks really cute when you cinch it in in the waist. It's just really comfortable and light and just very cute. So I got that. And then to go on top of that, I got this cardigan, which is awesome. It's so loose and like airy and it's just really cute. Let me show you guys. It's really hard to show you, but yeah. So it has really like long and like flared out arms and it's so like holy. Does that make any sense? It has a lot of holes in it and it's just very light and I just really love it so I got a couple of beauty things from Olean's um, the first thing I got are some uh, Veet face wax strips because that's very interesting Ooh, I got this really cool new dry shampoo from Batiste I've never seen this one before it's pretty and opulent oriental look how cute it is it is purple and pink and like turquoise and they're like my favorite colors so I had to get this because I really really love the tea dry shampoo so I thought I would try a new one. I got this Nivea Pure Effect Active Purifying Mask because I'm doing a lot of traveling now so my skin is kind of like blue. So I thought I would try this out and see if it kind of like clears up my skin a little bit. Last beauty product I actually got from Sephora and it's a refill of my Benefits The Real Mascara because you guys know I love this so I just had to get a new one and I was kind of a little bit disappointed over Sephora in, in Stockholm but I knew that it wouldn't be as great as in the United States but I just wanted to get some things that I need and I didn't have them and I made me kind of upset but they had this one so I was happy about that and if you guys know where I can get the push-up liner please let me know like the their real push-up liner because they didn't have it in the store anymore it sold out the day before I got there so I was like all right but if you guys know where I can get that please comment down below because I really want that eyeliner too so I got this bad boy right here yeah. The last place I went to was H&M, but I actually went to like different H&M's and I also went to H&M Home, which I'm going to show you first. I went some grandma shopping and it um, didn't work out really well. It's been too much money. Okay, so the first thing I got is this pillow and I've wanted like this kind of pillow for a long time for my bed and it is so cute. Okay, let me guys show you guys. Look. Holy cow, it's like rose gold, like sparkly, like sequins. It is so cute and it's like a little square. It is adorable. I had to get it and of course I got the pillow to put this on, I guess. Yeah. And then I got this duvet cover because I thought it was so cute. I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like little frilly, frilly things on there. Can you guys see? Oh, it's not focused, but... Yeah, I thought it was really cute. It's just white with little frills on it, and I thought it would look really good with my whole theme and my room and everything. So I got this, and I needed a new one because I only have a white one and like an old flowery one from Ikea. So I thought this was super cute, so I got it, and it wasn't that bad. It was 300 kroners, which is okay for like a nice duvet cover. So I just need to think, take out the like cardboard thing in this because it's kind of heavy. So. And then we have H&M. So I got a few things from H&M. I was super impressed by H&M in Stockholm. They have this thing called Trend. And I think they have it other places too, but it's not as highly like noticed as it is in Stockholm or one of the stores we went to. I also went to the biggest store in Stockholm, which I think is the biggest store. It's at least the biggest store in Sweden. It might be in like Europe and the world because H&M is from Sweden, but never mind. I got this top. First, um, I will show you guys probably when I'm wearing it, but it's just like this really oversized big top and it has like flared up arms and kind of a loose peplum type thing. It is super casual and loose and I really, really like it. Woo! I got this like turquoise mint cardigan, which is so nice. It is pretty long so you can wear a dress underneath and has this kind of stripy pattern on it. I don't know kind of see-through stripey pattern it is so cute and just like chill and it was really cheap it was 129 kroners awesome I really like this clothing piece right here I love the color it's so refreshing and I know it's almost fall but I feel like you can wear these kind of colors in fall too kind of just to not get so depressed because school started so 
I got that cardigan. I thought I actually got more, but I actually just got three things from H&M. I almost got this skirt, which is black. It has like an A-line cut. It has like a cut that goes like this. like e. um, And I didn't end up getting it because I was kind of in between two sizes. So I was like, oh, I don't know, because if I wear this, it might be too big, and this might be small. So I kind of just forgot about it, but I kind of regret that I didn't buy it, so I might buy it afterwards, like later, but I got this dress, which is like the similar, just in a dress version, and it's white, and this is like the cutest thing ever, holy cow, okay, okay, it's ready, okay, so this like t-shirt dress on the top, and has a pretty thick fabric, and then it goes down, it cinches in the waist, and it like has that crisscross Thing. Oh, you guys can't see. Oh gosh, I have to wear it on and you guys can see. But look how cute it is. It is so adorable. Like it looks so plain and boring. Like just when I'm holding it up, when I put it on, it is freaking cute and um, I'm really happy about it. And this was kind of expensive. This was, let me see how much this is. 349 kroners. And this is part of the trend thingy, so it's like nicer quality. I forgot to say that. Trend is like nicer quality and you can really feel it on the clothing that it's thicker and just nicer and this is trend too so it's a better quality product so that's why it's a little bit more expensive. I think this was 349 too but they're really nice quality clothing pieces and I just really really like this dress and I want to wear this for my birthday probably. So yeah. That was everything for my Stockholm haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just noticed that I didn't get too much which I thought I got. I think I just spent a lot of money. <laughs> like, I keep putting my card in, I was like, it's gonna say declined, it's gonna say declined. It never said declined. I don't even know. So, I hope you guys like the stuff. Comment down below which stuff was your favorite. And I'm very interested in how I'm gonna put this all in my suitcase. I might need some assistance if you guys wanna come and help me. Come to Stockholm, please. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you did. And um, yeah, it was fun to have like a video talking to you guys because I haven't done that in a while. I feel like I said that every time I have a talking video, but it's kind of true and I like doing these too. I just really like doing the voiceover videos. They're fun. And um, there will come a really big video soon. I just need to come home and edit and film more and stuff like that. But like, get yeah, super excited for that. It is a back to school video. You guys might know what it is. I think I might have said something on the live stream chat which I had, which was really fun by the way. Thank you uh, for everyone who showed up at the live stream chat with me, Miriam, Elisa and Nina. It was mostly me and Miriam though, but it was super fun. I've never done that before and it was something kind of new to me and I thought it was really cool. So, uh, and I was really blown away of how many of you guys came and like talked to us. So, that was super fun. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!